Horses dot the fields in the distance, a walking symbol of courage, strength, and freedom. Through rain showers and sunshine, they stand grazing. Horses are an integral part of society. They're used for farm work, show and hobby work, and are loving pets. The weather can impact their health, behavior, and the little things too. As both the climate and the seasons change, horses are going to be impacted in a variety of ways. Uh, general weather, right now we're transitioning from f the warmer summer months into the cooler fall winter months. Uh, so there are some management, some aspects of management, both on the nutrition and exercise side to think about uh, when we transition to cooler weather. Scientists have been studying both weather and horses for a long time. But connecting the weather to animals and animal behavior is relatively new especially with how the change in climate can affect them. Areas in North America are experiencing higher rates of excessive heat, a shorter cold season, and more extreme weather events that can cause flooding and wildfires. Climate change is going to require adaptation. A good place to get an idea of where to start is the change in season, which causes noticeable changes in horse behavior. When it gets to be like the middle of winter, they're going to want to huddle up and stay near each other for warmth. First, those, you know, nice, crisp spring or fall mornings where they want to run around. Similarly, in the summer when it's really hot, you're going to, it's not uncommon to see horses pretty quiet in the middle of the afternoon, just sort of standing there with their tails, looking over each other's backs to keep the flies off. Horses' behavior seasonally is pretty recognizable, but because of global warming, horses are going to have to adapt to new challenges a changing climate brings. Uh, they're pretty well adapted if they've lived in that climate um, to deal with that. If there are extreme weather events like hurricanes or tornadoes, that's, that's a whole other side of things to be prepared for. Uh, as a horse owner, it is important to have a safety plan in mind for any weather events that could happen that could impact uh, the safety of you or your horse. Climate change brings with it more extreme temperature and weather patterns. Prolonged wet conditions promote skin infections like scratch and rain rot. Wet weather also increases the amount and habitat of pests like mosquitoes and ticks, which increases the rate of disease. On the other hand, prolonged dry conditions can cause dehydration, overheating, and summer heat stress. Ways caretakers can mitigate this is by balancing a horse's diet and exercise, but they have to be careful. Horses have delicate immune systems, particularly with regards to their gut health. One of the things you might see with the change in weather uh, Many horse owners have noticed a higher rate of colic, which is basically an upset stomach for a horse. Again, that might be partially due to them drinking not as much water as they should, uh, which could lead to impaction colic. One of the best ways to avoid colic is to transition a horse's diet slowly. This includes time spent in pasture grazing on fresh grass. The changing climate can lead to an extended growing period for grass, but unstable weather damages pasture. When you have cool frosty nights and then beautiful warm days like today, the grasses can actually end up with pretty high levels of sugars. And so if you have a horse that's sensitive to high levels of sugar in their diet, I think of horses that are prone to laminitis and things like that, you want to make sure you restrict pasture access while those sugar levels are really high in the pasture. Another cause for high sugar levels in grass is drought because it throws off the balance between photosynthesis, which creates sugar, and growth, which uses sugar. Photosynthesis continues because the amount of sunlight does not change, but the growth is stunted by the lack of water, leading to a buildup of sugar. Grasses accumulate non-structural carbonates, like sugars and starches, when exposed to sunlight during the day, and reach peak levels late in the afternoon. Overnight, the grasses use these sugars for fuel, making the carbonate levels the lowest in the morning. The highest sugar levels occur during the early fall months, where grass can contain up to 15% simple sugar. A horse grazing for most of the day could consume up to 2% of their body weight in sugar. High amounts of sugar can cause health problems in some horses, especially those prone to diseases like laminitis, founder, or horses who have Cushing's disease. But the sugars in grass also have positive effects on horses by giving them the energy for exercise, which is also impacted by weather. If you're starting to not ride as often because of the colder season, uh, still make sure your horse is getting some sort of exercise so that they're not just sort of pent up inside. Uh, again, as you transition to a more hay-based diet in the winter, do that transition slowly. And I keep saying this, but make sure they've got plenty of access to fresh water. 
Horses also have delicate joints because a lot of pressure is placed on their legs. Changes in exercise, barometric pressure, and lower temperatures can disrupt their equilibrium. But keeping up a consistent exercise routine throughout the year is important. It helps keep their muscle tone up and their joints flexible. Horses, especially ones with joint problems like arthritis, need extra warm-up time when it gets cold. Seasonal care for horses has been studied by scientists for a long time, so they know how to make sure horses are kept happy and healthy. But as the climate changes, it introduces factors that are not yet well understood. Certainly we are seeing in terms of large global events, I think of the Olympics or the World Equestrian Games, impacts of either large extreme weather events or hot humid conditions where it can be challenging and potentially unhealthy to be working a horse at such high temperatures. Um, so we just need to be careful about managing our horses and be alert for what are normal signs of your horse's health, what's their normal temperature uh, and heart rate versus what's an abnormal sign and plan accordingly for that exercise, that event uh, for the temperatures and the climate that you're going to be in. As the climate changes, rising temperatures are going to cause more stress on people and animals around the globe. Due to these changing conditions, caretakers are going to have to be adaptable to ensure the horses stay happy and healthy. From the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science at Penn State, I'm Dana Osgood.